Come closer to me. Okay. Good. Kurt Edward Fishback has done a great job over 35 years of capturing artists in their studios. And some of these people from Davis, from Sacramento, from San Francisco, are some of the, the major artists we think of today when we think of California art. In fact, some of uh, Kurt's pictures uh, that he did of artists in the past that were male are the same images that if you Google those artists, those are some of the images that come up. Yeah. This is Bob Arneson, Robert Arneson, uh, probably one of the most famous clay sculptors that ever lived. Uh, he was my mentor in clay and he became my dear friend and was the first person I photographed for the project. Starting in 79 and 80, what I didn't stop to think about is that uh, predominantly the more famous, best known artists were men. And it was because, frankly, everything was run by men. The critics were men. The, the directors of museums and galleries were men. And I kind of followed those that I could find. I photographed women for sure. But I found out later, uh, 2013, when I had a show, that uh, I was asked angrily by a woman uh, why I didn't have uh, more portraits of uh, women in the, in the show. And instead of thinking about her anger, I saw her as a messenger. She shared with me a thought that I hadn't really considered. I thought it was interesting that when Kurt had proposed this project, that he felt that he was sort of making up for the lack of women in the photographs that he's done in the past. More people know about male artists and there's a history of that. And the fact that we're in the 21st century and still having to have this discussion and the fact that a male artist has decided to make a body of work on women tells us that it's still relevant. Kurt's series of women artists is an amazing series and he's captured some of the biggest in California art history. People like Judy Chicago who did live in California for a time, Squeak Carnworth, um, he also did Louise Stanley's. He does show their work but it's also a side of themselves that is so interesting how they choose to portray themselves because a portrait is always a dialogue between the photographer and the subject and that dialogue is really fascinating. Yeah, this is this is Joan Brown and uh, I really love this portrait because uh, it's like eight other portraits I've done uh, have cats that got in the portrait that generally run away from cameras so I don't know whether cats like me or whether they're just vain you know I don't know what the story is but I do love this portrait and Joan became a good friend after I photographed her. Young people particularly young women that might be interested in the arts and are needing examples of women who are successfully functioning in their studios, making work, making time for work, making space for work. These are all really important things for other young people, I think, to see. And so I think that's why it's important to support this project. These might be primarily artists in this region, Sacramento Bay Area, but it's important in a broader history that there's still this conversation about women in the arts and a seeming lack of representation. Many, many artists spend time seeking out funding to support their projects. The cost for being an artist in terms of your time, your energy, um, just the raw materials for your art um, is pretty tremendous. It's, it's a big investment. And for someone like Kurt, where he's traveling from studio to studio, he's taking lots of equipment, um, the kinds of prints that he's making, just the cost of those, it's a really time-intensive, laborious project. And it's a project that he loves, but in order to keep it going and to further this project, which has been going on for 35 years, um, he really does need support. You know, when you help fund this, in essence, you're helping the women that I photograph. Uh, granted, it is helping pay my bills and it's helping pay for the time and the gas mileage and all the things that it goes into this. The framing for the eventual show, uh, that is what you're helping fund. But the end product is, or the end uh, uh, real purpose is to help these women gain the visibility that they haven't otherwise gained. And uh, many of the artists that I photographed, I photographed when they were new and young starting with the project in 1979 when it began. Uh, the 
new women artists and so forth that I'm photographing, the 30 that I did last year and the 70 that I want to do now, uh, in my mind, it's going to bring my archive to a sense of gender parity and in a more positive way. So uh, I'm asking for your help uh, to do this, and I would appreciate anything you can do. Please take a look at the list of uh, uh, rewards that I'm going to give for various levels of pledges that you might choose to uh, uh, adopt. Uh, thank you for your help in advance, and uh, I'll be keeping you posted as time goes by. Thank you. Judy lived in San Anselmo when I did this portrait, and the, the key was uh, before we walked up the stairs to the right, uh, she told me she loved living there because of the redwood trees, which were uh, showing through the window, and she also just came back from Egypt. So there's that, that photograph of the, of the pyramids down below. And uh, I got her to smile because basically I was sitting on her toilet so I could get in the right position. <laughs> I'm in her bathroom just at the end of the hallway <laughs> and she, she, she just thought that was wonderful and this was back in uh, 1979 that I did this and I just talked to her about three weeks ago and she says I still love that portrait